Ministers Imran Hashmi and Agdis Fakhri and Prachi Desai were present recently in a press conference to talk about their upcoming biopic film, Azhar. Imran said that playing Azhar on screen was one of the biggest challenges for him as an actor as he had to learn to match his footwork on the cricket field to that of the legendary cricketer Azhar. This film was offered to me two years back and uh, Ikta had called me up and it was uh, a brief conversation where she said that we are planning out um, a film based on the life of Mohammad Azruddin and I didn't think for a second, I said I'm definitely doing it. I didn't uh, hear the story out because I followed him uh, for those 15, 16 years when uh, he was in, uh, in our team and uh, when he was playing, when he was the captain of the Indian cricket team and then after that, the, the unfortunate dark phase of Indian cricket and his life when his name was taken, uh, when there was the match-fixing allegation uh, drawn on his name. So that was the conversation and you know, after that we, we drafted the script. It took around uh, a year after that and we went on floors. Uh, Azhar Bhai actually had not okayed the script back then. He okayed it on the first or the third draft. And then we finally went uh, on on floor and we shot the film. This is my second film with Imran, and it, it was a great experience. Uh, I think the familiarity really um, helped both of us um, because yes, we play these real life characters. Um, I think it was extremely tough for Imran to play um, Azhar for a lot many reasons. I mean, I know how hard he worked on this film, um, and and Noreen for me. So just the fact that we we have. We were familiar with, with each other, we shared a great rapport. All of that really made it um, much easier for both of us. And, and I had a great, uh, great experience working with him again. Well, you know, if you're doing a fictional film, there is a hundred different ways you can play a character. But when you're playing a film based on someone's life, uh, who's you know, alive, flesh and blood, people have followed him, you have to be very accurate and close to, as close to home as possible. But in a film of this nature, uh, it was very essential to uh, dramatize certain elements. There were the four or five songs. So, uh, yes, it has elements of being a biopic, but at the same time, it dramatizes some moments for our audience to kind of, you know, to entertain them. Because as part of our culture, the songs have to be there. And, you know, uh, there are dialogues that people are going to love uh, in, in this film. So, we've dramatized it, I would say, 10 to 20%. But most of it is things about cricket that uh, all of you don't know and uh, that have been shared by Azerbai with us. You know, they might have come out in the media, a lot of things, but not everything. So Azerbai has sh shared those very, very intimate details about the sport and his life for this film. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, I think I was scared because I always feel like if something was already a hit, a hit and it's like an old song that everyone loved and, and knows so well, that a part two never really does well. But uh, I hope that all, everyone you know, really enjoyed it. I liked it. I think they remixed it really well and made it more dancey and modern. So. Uh, um, I, I played Noreen in the film. Uh, Noreen was uh, Azhar's first wife. Uh, I think she was barely 16 when uh, they got married. It was an arranged marriage. Um, I think that's a side, uh, that's a part of Azhar's life that not many know about. Uh, they do know that she was his first wife, but nothing more than that. So in this film, I think you get to, um, you know, see that part, that part of his life. And I, I think the way it's been treated, um, and I, I just feel like everybody's going to be able to connect to it uh, because I, I did in a, in a big way. Um, and a lot many things actually about their relationship, about the nine years of their marriage, um, which, which of course, like I said, nobody knows much uh, about. I think that you get to see in the. Well, I can't speak uh, for a, a particular time in the sport, and at that time, uh, you know, a lot of things were put forward. Ev eventually, it was the ju judicial system that had played out its, uh, you know, uh, the the verdict, and he was acquitted of it. But uh, sports around the world, you know, they have uh, hi, how are you doing? Hi. <laughs> they have allegations that have been attached to it of match fixing, and that that is a fact. Now, I can't come down and telling you which players fix matches. I can't tell you which games have been fixed. Because that, you know, anyone's guess. Uh, it was the toughest in this film because uh, coming, very, you know, even close to the way Azerbaijan used to play is extremely tough. You know, uh, the most accomplished batsman um, had score, was the highest score, run scorer at one point of time, and I was like an average to below average player. So not not too much technicality, which was obvious thanks to Azerbaijan. He taught me these things. I was more of an offside player. I had to play on the leg side because that's where Azerbaijan was very strong. So it took me around three, four 
grilling months of training on for cricket every day, three hours every day. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's you know that was the regime back then. Uh, what attracted me? The man's life journey. It's uh, you know it's it lends itself to some great uh, cinema. Um, you know he's seen everything. This is struggling years when he before he became a cricketer, great success, and then a terrible fall in year 2000 when everything was snatched away from him. When he was just about to complete his hundred test matches, uh, his career was taken away from him on 99. So he's you know he was short of that one uh, test match, but. Uh, the way we see it, he kind of was vindicated and he wins the 100th test match in the court when he wins the court case. So it's a beautiful story. It's, it's kind of tragic also in many ways because Azhar Bhai also lost his son close to the, to, to the verdict of the case. Um, but he's a very strong person. He you know, has a lot of will and inner strength and that has got him through the entire phase. I don't know. It depends. You know, when I, if I get a film of... I, I don't have anyone in mind in that sense. Uh, not someone here though. I've you know I've always liked Lance Armstrong. I've, I know Lance Armstrong's film won't come to me, but I've enjo enjoyed reading his book. It's not about the bike. Uh, again, a controversial figure. I'd want to see as an audience member to see that life play out on screen, because he had seven world titles snatched away from him uh, because of the you know obviously everyone knows about that. So that's a very controversial story. We practiced for three months here. Uh, it was uh, in Andheri. We used to tr practice and train every day uh, for three months last year, Jan. It was the, the weather was better, so we used to start off uh, at 9 in the morning. And Azharbhai was always punctual at 9 in the morning. We used to train till 12. Those hours got shorter. By the time it was May, we used to sweat it out. We used to train only for an hour or two. But uh, it was great uh, you know, playing with him. And that was the toughest for me because uh, I, my wrists didn't move on like a 40 degree axis and his was, was extremely, you know, flexible. Uh, it took me six months of training to get the, the wrist, uh, you know, the flick right. Well, the famous dialogue is, I have three things for famous. One, I believe two are married and three are fixed for me.